Okay, here this is what I'll be using. If you take a closer look at this, I already fold this. I'm sorry I did not show you guys how I fold this. So you guys can see. This, I had a fusing first, a light fusing, and I had a collar stay for the waistband. You guys can see that. I had a collar stay for the waistband. So here, this is what it looks like entirely. I fuse almost half of the half of the band and I leave just like uh, six inch extra around here. You guys can see this is where the rubber band, uh, the elastic is going to be six inch. This is where the elastic is going to be. The elastic is going to be a total of 12 inch, that will be like half of the trouser. You guys can see that. So what I cut here is a total of five inch. You can see. I cut a total of five inch from this side to this side. You can see I cut five inch. So if you're cutting your fabric, you're going to cut five inch, exactly the length of the trouser. And I cut two of this. You can see I have one and I did exactly the same thing to both of the trouser. And I'm going to fold my exact waistband, which is 1.5. You guys can see I'll fold 1.5 for the waistband. So I cut exactly this um, uh, collar stay at 1.5 inch and this will be the inside of the child of the waistband. Instead of using a, a, um, a ready-made waistband, I just pull them together. So I believe you guys get what I did here. So the next thing I'm going to do now is here. The two, I'm going to sew the two together. So I'm going to take this side, let me zoom back a little bit. So I'm going to take this side, you see, the side without the stay, you see this where with the stay start from, you can see. So I'm going to take the side without the stay, and I'm going to sew them together exactly from each of the edges. And you see, stitch them together. <laughs> Okay, so when I zoom in, you guys can see I'm going to stitch that side together. Let's stitch it straight. So after you stitch that side together, this is what we're going to have. You can see that. Let me zoom back forward. So this is what we're going to have. You see that? This is where our elastic is, is going to be between here and here. For the back of the trouser. For the back of the trouser. So you guys are getting what I'm doing now. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to you just have to use your iron to open this side. Just open this place, open it up. So this will be the beginning of our the back of our trouser. This way we're going to start our stitch. So first, I'm going to open this and I'm going to bring the trouser so that we can stitch it together. So here, after you open it, you guys can see I open the, the stitch middle. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add that part to your, to your trouser. So here is my trouser. You can see I already sewed the trouser, I already did the finishing, remaining just the band side. I'm doing this because of this trouser. It's not something I can sew a corporate trouser. It has to be, so I have to do something corporate and a little bit casual. So I'm going to start from here. This is the back of the trouser. You guys can see this. Here is the back of the trouser. The joining at the back of the trouser. So that's where I'm going to add the band. So just put it together. So I'm going to stitch exact, the exact gators on that side. Let's put it on there. Okay, so from here, you guys can see, we need to stitch it to the trouser. Yes, 
Let's have a seat. Let's get you straight. I'm going to stitch it to that zip side. Just like the same way you're doing the trouser when you're sewing the trouser. Stitch it straight. You guys can see what we have so far. You can see that. You guys can see that. So you're going to do the same thing to this side as well. You're going to do the same thing to this side as well. side as well. So you can see so far this we have around our waist. This is going to go inside. Our waist is almost ready. You guys can see that. And this is going to cover up just like this. You can see. And this side is going to cover up just like this. So the stay, the stay, the front, the front color stay is just to make it harden. Just to harden that side so that it's going to look more of like a waist. We're getting it's not going to have a belt strap or anything. So this side is the loose side. You can see it's very free. This is where our elastic, let me zoom back a little bit. So here, this side is where our elastic is going to be. So the next thing we're going to do now is to add our elastic. However, the, the trouser itself is going to have an overlap. You can see. Here you zoom, when I zip it up. It's going to have an overlap at this side. Going to have an overlap of like a normal trouser, you guys can see that. Okay, it's going to have a, a, an overlap of like a normal trouser. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my elastic on this side. So, I'm going to open back the zip. So, here, this way, I'm going to attach the elastic at this other side, these bigger parts, so that the stitches will not be showing in front. So the elastic is going to be at this side. So here I have my elastic. What I'm going to do is just from here, I'm going to calculate half of this side. You can see that. From this particular stay right here, from this stay side, I'm going to place it, and I'm going to calculate half of this side. So from this half, I'm going to stretch it to this place. So I have a full gap there, so I can easily stretch that part. So you guys can see. Don't forget from here, just place it without stretching it. You can see. Without stretching it at all, just place it like this. So from this side, hold it down. From this joining in the middle, you can see. From this joining, hold it down and stretch it to this side. So you have your elastic of so this size. So I'm going to cut it out. This is just the simple elastic you're going to use. So the next thing you're going to do is very, very simple. At this place, you're going to stitch your elastic very close to your gators. Don't forget. Oh, okay, in the middle, okay, in the middle, I'm going to stitch the elastic. 
Make sure you stitch it and it's very thin. Okay. You can see that. So here, we're going to just stretch it to this side as well. Sorry. Okay. So you're going to stretch it to this side as well, this side, just get the middle side, we are going to do the same thing in this place. So now we have our elastic at the back of the trouser. So if we hold it straight up, we hold it like this, our back is going to be. You can see that. So the next thing we are going to do now is to start the stitching. But first, before we start the stitching, I'll need to close up this front side. This side first. Just turn it just like this. Very simple. Get the gators, make a vestige. Very, very simple, isn't it? So you can cut the SS just like that. So when you turn it inside out, you're going to have your trouser almost ready. See that so this can go inside so our trouser is almost ready you can see so the next thing you're going to do here so here this is the one that's going to overlap this one you can see so here this is the one that's going to overlap this side you can see when you zip up this side has been to overlap you can see this is the side that is going to overlap. So, you're going to calculate your overlap measurement, how long do you want it to overlap. But with this one, it's just going to be a total of one inch, just one inch overlap. So, hold it backward like this. Get your exact gators, you can see. Get your gators, just here. Okay, you can see that. So now you're going to measure your one inch. Let me zoom in. Here. So here you're going to measure your one inch for the overlap. Just use your one inch here. Just using your one inch here. You're going to make a stitch. See that so you can easily cut it out. So you can turn it. So now that we have our waist, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to start a stitch just like this. Make sure it's balanced very well. Make sure it's balanced very well. 
roots that to speech. You guys can see what I'm doing. So at this side, So when you get to this side, where you can feel the elastic, you just have to draw it closer. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Just have to draw it closer, pushing the excess from this side. Continue a stitch. Okay, as you can see, very simple. No stress, no stress at all. So, after that, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to just stitch it straight. So, so far, this is what we have. So, the inside, remember where we add our elastic is going to be like this. You can see it's going to have these stitches here, and the other side as well is going to have these stitches right here. So, now so far, you turn your trouser to the front. You're going to have your exact measurement. You can see, you guys can see. So, here is where you're going to. Add your your button O. We're going to input your button O. But here, this is what we have so far on the trouser. And if you take a look at the back, this is what the back looks like. So here, after you fix your elastic, you guys can see. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to let me just open the trousers. On this side, we're going to make a straight stitch. Okay, I'm going to from here on this side first. We need to make a straight stitch. You can see. Just to hold down, just to hold down the elastic again. And on this side as well, we going to do the same thing. like that you can see what I'm doing so the next thing you're going to do is from here from this your first stitch just like the way we did the boxes over here just going to start to stitch in here That you can see, you can see what we have. On this side, you're going to make another stitch. You can make it two, you can make it three, depending on what you want. I'm just going to do two stitch actually. So, so far, this is what we have. You can see this. You 
is all we have so far. Very simple. So now we have our trouser with an elastic band at the back. You guys can see. So that is it about this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you like it, make sure you give it a thumb up and make sure you subscribe if you are new to the channel. Peace. I will see you on my next video.